I'm going right into the business because it's a big part of the conversation. So am I this lean on zero cardio because of how many calories I count? No. Am I this lean uh, on no cardio? None. Zero. Because I did this to my knee, which I've shown in some of the older videos. But this is for some of the people that are tuning in for the first time. Okay, so, whoa, can you see that monster scar going? That's a dinosaur scar. They don't even do perform surgeries like that. And they open up that sucker four times out of ten surgeries. I geeked, and I mean kabbaliked, my knee. But I digress, as usual. I wanted to, I'm talking a few times in a few videos about calories and I keep getting the questions like questions, 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 questions everywhere, everywhere, Facebook, tweet, like Twitter and uh, YouTube and inboxing me through my site because I'm getting all the questions and I see them all and I try to answer everybody. I really try even though it's getting a little high. Okay guys, so I want to talk about the business. Um, I just got done with a personal training client. I'm not training that many people anymore. In fact, I've got one left, so I came home. I like, you know, got the sports bra, cargo's going because I just wanted to do a quick video. I wanted to show the business and talk about calories, yeah, and strength gain. So here we go. I've gained a lot of strength in the last few months. Yeah? Gained muscle and ketosis, so I'm not glucose dependent, contrary to what you guys believe. A lot, of, a lot of you guys think that you're doing cyclic ketosis where you're like Monday through Friday, you're in ketosis and then on the weekends you refeed and then you've got this huge spike in your metabolism and you've got a spike in growth hormone. Mm -mm. I should say no. Actually a lot of you, like you've got like, uh, like 200 people trying this and you've got two people with success. And those two people are typically young, already fit guys who don't have metabolic damage, who can go in intermittent fast too soon, even though they're glucose dependent. You're not in ketosis because a lot of guys are like, oh, at the end of the week, I can't wait to refeed on the carbohydrates, which is showing me you're not in ketosis, yeah? Because you lose your appetite, because your body is eating from the restaurant of the belly. That's how you get lean, is that you no longer are breaking down muscle and tissue and bone marrow okay amino acids in your body to convert back into sugar to raise back up glucose levels so you can store more glycogen and have energy because the brain if you're glucose dependent the, the brain's like oh hey i'll know we got to keep blood glucose up up enough to, to sustain life blah, blah, blah. tongue twister Okay guys, so basically, quick video, a calorie is not a calorie, I have to keep reminding you guys, you keep asking me how many calories, how many calories, how many calories, the only time I would ever actually mention calories is to get a visual concept of the, the percentages of your food, so a lot of people are trying to do thousand calories, a lot of women to lose weight, and I'm like, well a small child would eat that volume of food, yeah, a thousand calories is not going to uh, tell your body that enough nutrition is coming in to repair and then you've got to repair stuff to burn fat. you got to repair. You just don't like, success, I'm just going to leave the muscle alone. That's why a lot of women complain when they lose weight too quickly, they look like shite. Yes, because you're burning through your sex hormones, you're burning through your thyroid, your adrenal overload, your gut's freaked out, you might have low gut acid, and you look sickly because you're burning through amino acids to fuel your fledgling brain. But I digress. Okay guys, really quick, a calorie is not a calorie if you take 300 calories from steak and 300 calories from crackers. The crackers is already, already starting to pre-digest in your saliva through the amylase. It's already being broken down into sugar before you it hits the stomach. BAM! It's going to hit the blood real fast and then it's going to be over the amount, it's going to be over the four to five grams that your blood can actually manage in, in homeostasis. So then your body's like, let's put it into, uh, insulin's going to rise, it's going to go into your fat cells and you're going to start storing fat. If you eat protein-fat combo, no. Very dense, 
very dense. You need like your liver and your gallbladder to, to secrete bile salts, make and secrete bile salts to scrub down the fat. You need the right peptides to break down the protein in the stomach. It's such a long process that a lot of it is actually being utilized before it actually hits the fat cell. And then there's no insulin receptor site on a fat cell to pull the fats in. So the fat's not just being shunted into the fat cell like that 300 calories from a cracker. So of course, you're going to gain more weight off of carbohydrates if it's 1,000 calories from fat and protein and 1,000 calories from carbs because carbohydrates process is toxic. The body's like, shove it into the fat cell because we can't poop repeat out that fast. Well, that doesn't happen. That excitatory response with fat and protein healthy from healthy animals, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, that is, that's shunting. You're gonna be using that and you're gonna be utilizing the amino acids. And if you are in a state of ketosis and you cross that bridge, now your body's going to use all of it. Yeah, you're going to use the amino acids to build tissue, and you're going to use the fat to fuel your brain, and then you're going to burn fat. Burn fat. Eat fat, burn fat. Not eat fat, get fat. Or else I would be fat, eating as many calories as I do, on no cardio, you guys. That's no cardio. Okay, that's it. I wanted to do a calorie is not a calorie. Yeah, you know, if you cut down your calories too low, and if you have any already existing metabolic derangement, you're going to slow your metabolism even slower. So yeah, you might lose initial weight cutting down your calories, but as soon as you get hungry, and that ghrelin, and those hormones start to tell you to eat, and then the hormones are telling you to store, it's over. Like, you're like, people are like, yeah, I lost a lot of weight doing this, and bam, they gain double back, and now they can't lose it the third rotation around. And that's why people are like, I tried every diet under the sun. It's uh, this, the, under the sun, and it's not working. Every diet under the sun that you keep trying is destroying your metabolism more and more. So now your body's slower and slower and slower. Now you just eat freaking one grape and get fat. I'm just saying, calorie is not a calorie. You know what makes you fat? Hormones. You know what makes you lose weight? Hormones. And if your hormones aren't working properly, and if you've got inverted cortisol, and you don't have the right cortisol rhythm, and you're stressed out and produce, because cortisol is our friend, but if you secrete too much of it, it's a problem. Get fat. That's not just counting your calories. What is the state of your metabolic health of your thyroid? Do you get enough selenium? Do you get enough D? Yeah? Do you get enough sun exposure at midday? Is your circadian rhythm on point? Is your gut acid at the right level? Do you have enough healthy wildlife in your gut? Where are your testosterone levels? Are you getting exposed to xenoestrogens? These are concepts you got to think about, you guys. you got to clear up the gook, the gook in your organs to lose weight, and that's through hormones. You don't want to overtax your adrenals because that's connected to everything. Okay, guys, that's it. Boom, 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 boom. I'm all hyped, hyped up. You want to learn more on how to get in ketosis. You want to learn more on how to get the business get healthy, get right, get right with the mind right there, because that's the number one thing you guys got to think about. Check me out, stephanieperson.com. Stephanie, the business person. 